and our teacher. It takes so much to train only one teacher. Uh, uh, the country puts on so much to train a teacher. Uh, teachers, workers, when we lose them by the food they eat, it is really very painful. I hope I've contributed to this matter, Honorable Speaker, as a food scientist, because this is entirely food science, and it uh, entails the uh, concepts of food safety management systems. There are already established food safety management systems that could have been used and adopted by the ministry such that before any feeding program or before any school is allowed to uh, offer food in school, they should uh, show that they are going to manage the, uh, the safety of the food that they give the children. We have basic food management system and the cheapest and the oldest is good manufacturing practice, otherwise called good hygienic practice. Just put basic hygiene to the processing and management of foods. Rolls are put separately, uh, uh, the cooked ones are put separately, and we have uh, safe food. We look at the hygiene of the food workers in the uh, school system. I believe this can be adopted. We have what we call HACCP system of food safety management. Uh, uh, food safety management. HACCP system is Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point Concept, Honorable Speaker. This is uh, a mid modern uh, uh, food safety management system that was built in the early 60s. We could adopt this, uh, Honorable Speaker, and save our children from dying. Honorable Speaker, we have the ISO 22,000. 2018, we had 2015 version, but right now we are. Uh, practicing the 2018 uh, version. If these basic uh, food management systems are adopted, honorable speaker, then we could have our children uh, put to safety, especially with the food that we, that we eat. Who is to blame? Uh, members have already mentioned who is to blame. Management system, blah, 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 blah. I want to say, honorable speaker, the persons to be blamed over the death of our children in the schools are these members of parliament, especially from the 290 constituencies. They are endowed with money. They could build uh, good uh, uh, infrastructure for use by our head teachers in managing um, the safety of our foods. I want to say, members, why don't we build dining halls? Why don't we build modern kitchens for our for use by our schools? Uh, time is not on my side, Honorable Speaker, but I want to say I pass my condolences to these families. Long live Kenya. Long live our schools. Long live our school principals. And I pray, oh God, that you may condone help the families who are uh, bereaved. I thank you, my Speaker and grandson of the great Rango constituency. Thank you, Honorable Kalu. <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I want to also uh, take you and support this motion by Tindy Mwale. Uh, Honorable Speaker, without wasting any time, I want to first pass my condolences to anybody who has lost his life the young angels and the teachers. Honorable Speaker, it is during Kibaki's time that